Master, I'm Dilos Taylord and welcome. In this video, I will share you on how to draft a suit or coat or it's also a tuxedo with an explanation. So this is the sample measurement of the suit or tuxedo. Length 28, shoulder 18, chest 44, waistline 41, and hips is 45, and the armhole is 22. So first, this is the pub public now. So from this, from this edge of the public, at least down one and one half inch, right? One and one half inch, then line here. And then let's start now to measure the length of the of the suit. So start here, down. So the length of the suit is 28, All right? So this is 28. And then just add at least 2 inches for the fold allowance. And then the measure the tip measure is a uh, steady here. The armhole is 22. So uh, let's uh, measure the so the armhole is 22. So divide it into 2 is 11. So measure here the measure there 11 inches. So this is your uh, measurement of the armhole 11. So this or 22 divided 2 is 11. And then from this mark measure the bottom. So from the bottom from this point to the bottom, divide it into two, so this is the center, and then uh, just add at least one inch above. So, we, so this mark one inch above from the center, and then so now uh, let's start to measure the um, the shoulder. So from this, from the edge of the fabric, just add at least one inch, all right, one inch from the edge, this side, then measure here, measure three on one fourth for the neck, uh, neck distance, and then line here, and then measure here one inch. Right. Then from this mark, we show here the shoulder is 18, so 18, here, 18 divided into 2 is 9, so we show, we show 9 here, then from this point, down at least 3 ports, 3 port ends, then connect this line, So this is the back shoulder. So this one is and then this is one and one half. Two inch and also he two inch. So this is this sort is a side bent style. So now let's measure this line. The this is the chest, waist, and hips line. So the chest line is forty four. Forty four divided by two is twenty two. Then find the twenty two in your if you have a uh, L square or a uh, Taylor square, so use this Taylor square to use to cut uh, to find the measurement of the suit. So, so because uh, this uh, square is uh, what we call this what we call this again. Uh, this L square is use is using for uh, Taylor square to. To whatever <laughs> <laughs> two 
easy to cut and to find the uh, measurement. So let's proceed now. So the the is 44 divided by 2 is two, we have uh, 112, 116 and 1 third and 2 third and 1. So this is the 1 third. So, so, alright. Then we we measure now the waistline. The waistline is twin uh forty one. Forty one divided by two is twenty and one half. So find the twenty and one half in your L square. One in one third. So this is the one third. Twenty one twenty and one half. So this this is the twenty and one half. And then just add at least one half. So right. And then from this line, the hip side, the hip line, uh, measure here at least uh, above uh, 1 inch to 2 inches. So, the hip is 45, 45 divided by 2 is 12, uh, what, uh, 22 and 1 half. So, 22 and 1 half, find in your uh, L square, the 22 and 1 half in 1 third. So, this is the 1 third. So, no need, no need, no need, uh, no needed additional uh, measurement. So this one is additional and one half additional. Uh, this is a uh, uh, autom automatically you just add uh, by the given of the measurement of the cheese line or the waist line. So this mark is connected. So connect now. Okay. And then the side bend is uh, here. And this is the side bend. And then here, the armhole is 22. 22 divided 4 is. Right. There is 22. Divide 4. Ah, uh, sorry, divide 8. Divide 8. 22. So then connect this guy. And this is your now the back arm hole. Arm hole shoulder. So this is the back parts of the suit. This is the side bend. So if the suit, the style is uh, center bent, uh, you uh, you make it two inch or uh, two and one half inch this uh, fabric this side. So now this, so we finish now the back part. So let's proceed to the front parts. So this line, uh, just continue this. Right. Just add at least one half, one half inch, one half, and then the twist is forty-four. Divide by four is um eleven. Eleven minus one inch. So this is so ten inches, ten inches. So we should have ten inches, and then just add at least one half or five eight for the buttons allowance. And then we make a line here. Measure here at least nine and one fourth. Then connect this. I use your uh, curb line, curb roller. And then here, just add one half, one half inch. Connect this. All right. And then this measurement 
from this point to this point divide it into two so at 10 and one half so 5 and one fourth then mark it or align then from this point down at least one and three fourths so this is, is now the front pocket front pocket and then here front just add at this one and one fourth and then side is uh, three ports then connect then just add two inches for the bottoms bottom bottom fold and then from this point be sure here at least one inch then down two inches then connect right then rounded both uh, front bottom so from this point down is at least one and one fourth this is your uh, front dart This measurement, 5, uh, 4, and uh, then copy this measurement, this side, this part, then the measurement of the shoulder back is, this is, and copy this measurement, then list at least one fourth, so this is now, and then down at least two inches, this is now the front shoulder, front front half shoulder right then be sure here one inch then and this is the two buttons so the two buttons is the, from this point down one and three port and then from this point the distance of the two buttons is four inches this is the first button this is the second bottom buttons and then the uh, fold above the buttons at least one fourth or one half. Then this point connect this mark. Now and then this point, this mark, mark a line down at least two and two and one half or two three inches it depends on this on you guys if this uh if this is a uh, high collar or low collar so this is a uh, semi high collar and then this is the lapel the right of the lapel is two and one half then connect this lapel so now this is the lapel and then the armhole of the front is from this from this uh, mark at this one and one fourth then make it the line make it line her so now this is the uh, armhole and then the breast pocket is from this line one half inch distance and then this the side is one inch slanted uh, brisk pocket slanted four and one half four inch to four and one half the distance the opening of the pocket of the brisk pocket so this is now the uh, front parts and the back parts so now uh, we proceed to the how to cut the uh, the blade parts. So before we proceed to the blade, so we must measure this front and the back to find uh, the measurement of the blade. 
So the matches is 44. So we must make sure here. Then this. Then we should put it in here. And then so 18. So 44. So start counting. Counting this twin from 22. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 ins. From chest. And then from the waistline. This point. And then connect this. So this is 16 and 5, 8. Uh, 3, 8. So this is 41. So 20 and 1 half. Start counting here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 and 4 and 1 4. And then the hips. Hips above the line. At least 1 inch to 2 inches. So start here. Then. The hips is 45, so 45 divided by 2 is 25, uh, 22 and 1 half, so it starts at 22 and 1 half, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so the hips is 6, this is now the measurement of the blade, then this mar mark line, pa I will follow this, we copy this mark, Right. So six inches the hips six. So because we have now we have the style is a uh, uh, what to call this side bend. So we just uh, we just need we just add two and one half. then 6 inches so this is 6 inches and then 4 and 1 foot the waist line 4 and 1 foot the chest is 4 so on this mark connect so you, you can move this mark to make it uh, shape the and then copy this measurement so 2 and 3 4 and then here down at least 3 fourths this point down 3 fourths and this is the front part and this is the back parts and then the side bend is 7 and 1 half so this is now the blade parts of the suit so let's I see you this Now, the back, front, and the blade. So, uh, This side just add at least three port sewing allowance and the armhole is one half sewing allowance and the shoulder is one half sewing allowance so 
this uh, one half sewing allowance so before I forgot uh, we must make sure the armhole the armhole is 22 so from this uh, from this uh, point be sure here and then the front this line so if the measurement is uh, shorter or uh, longer uh, you must uh, uh, you can uh, add or less the measurement if, it, if you want to uh, if the measurement is uh, shorter uh, just down at this just da just down here it's depend on the on the uh, shorter measurement down here if more longer uh, just up this side right this uh this uh part down or up all right so let's continue to cut And the front facing is at least this uh, one inch, and here is three, three and one half to four inch. This is the blade. Front. And back. Alright. That's all for today's uh, video. Thank you for watching. And God bless.